Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're taking a look at a Genesect Venusaur deck updated with Forbidden Light, because we have some pretty cool Forbidden Light cards we can use in this deck, and uh, we'll take a look at the deck here real quick, and kind of talk about the idea of the deck. It's basically, it's your standard G Venusaur Genesect deck, and I do have another Venusaur deck idea. I want to revisit Venusaur Exeggutor, and I also want to try out like a Venusaur Leafeon kind of deck. Um, there's a few Venusaur decks I want to try out. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the list. Obviously, this deck has a great matchup against Greninja, which is a good thing. Um, and I do find a game against Greninja, so we do get to beat it. Um, so yeah, Genesect, Shiny Genesect, or Genesect, whatever you want to call it. 130 HP Pokemon, great HP when you're playing in Zoark and Dawn Wings. You also have Gaia Blaster. Now, Gaia Blaster is kind of its main attack. It does 50 damage plus 20 more damage for each Grass Energy on this Pokemon. Now, thanks to Venusaur's ability, we already know Jungle Totem, each basic Grass Energy attached to your Pokemon provides two Grass Energies instead of one. So this is an insane ability to have. If you have three Grass Energies on Genesect, that counts as having six Grass Energies for Gaia Blaster. That is insane. So Gaia Blaster can do a ton of damage for just three Energies. So Genesect can hit very hard, it can hit good numbers, hits good weaknesses on Greninja, also hits like Lycanrocks for weakness, which is relevant. Now, one of the issues Venusaur always suffers is, one, it is a stage two, so it's a little slow, you may not always get into play quick enough. And the second thing, probably the most detrimental part of it, it's such an easy target for your opponent. Your opponent will see Venusaur, they'll either trap it in the active, or they will knock it out. Now, Venusaur can be kind of tough thanks to Lycanroc and Guzma being so relevant. This is one of Venusaur's biggest downfalls. One of the hardest parts about this deck is, without a doubt, Venusaur getting knocked out. Now, we have some other Pokemon on the deck than just Genesect. I am playing two Fermosas. Uh, Fermosa is actually really good right now with Venusaur. Not only do we get access to Beauty GX and also Cruel Spike, one of the big traits about it is you get to use B-String with it. So the idea here is we're going to B-String to our Fermosa when we get the ability to. And then we get two more Grass Energies in play, and we can like Energy Reload, move an Energy off Fermosa to Genesect, and then attach for turn. And we can keep attacking with Genesect thanks to B-String Fermosa. And we do have two Fermosas. We have the GX Fermosa, which is pretty strong. We also have Fermosa here with High Jump Kick and White Ray. Two decent attacks. Um, well, White Ray is kind of its best attack. It is an Ultra Beast, plus it has a free retreat cost, which is one of the relevant things about this Fermosa, is yeah, it has no retreat cost at all. So we are going to be playing a Fermosa GX and a normal Fermosa. And just for the memes, I am playing a 1-1 Exeggutor line. I really like Exeggutor with this list. Tropical Head can be really good with Venusaur to pick off the things on the bench. Also, you have Dragon Hammer, which is very deadly. Confusion, you never want to underestimate it. If you're playing against, like, a Buzzwool or really anything, I guess, in hindsight, that can't really afford to retreat, like a Buzzwool, you can confuse them and force them to have to flip to attack. So it's a really good attack. And you have Tower Go Round, which might be better than Fermosa's attack, because Tower Go Round can do 180, and when you put a Choice Band on, you do enough damage to one-shot something. We can also use Tower Go Round as a way to kind of move the energy around a little bit. Um, another good combo we get with this deck is Tower Go Round. Both Tower Go Round and Beauty are two attacks we can definitely take advantage of. We're going to play an Oranguru. We need some draw support in this deck. And of course, we have two Lele's. Lele is also really good with Venusaur, because Energy Drive does also work wonders with Jungle Totem. And we got our one, or we got our three, one, two Venusaur line. A bit of a thinner line today, but again, Venusaur is always clunky because you have to play rare candies. Usually, you'll want to play max elixirs, so it's and you have to play a lot of energy too. So it's really it's a clunky deck. So we are going to play a bit of a thinner Venusaur line. Um, we'll go into the items now. We are going to be playing two B strings, just two. I mean, one might honestly be better than two. But yeah, we are going to go B-String for uh, Fermosa. We got one Energy Switch, something that I thought would be a cool addition to this list with Energy Switch. Um, you know, when building this deck, I was like, alright, we need to get Energy on Genesect. So why not try Energy Switch and Energy Reload to charge up your Genesect GX? You never know, Energy Switch can work wonders with this deck to move energy around. I really like it. Like, say if your Venusaur gets trapped in the active and you're playing against Greninja and they like, I don't know, Moonlight Slash you or something, or I don't know, you're playing against Lycanroc, Whatever the case may be, you attach a grass for turn, and then you energy switch to your Venusaur. Then you can start using Venusaur's attack, Razor Leaf, or Solar Beam, sorry, for 180. So, yeah, there you go. Energy switch can be a really useful tool in here. Two Fuel Blowers, of course, because abilities are important here, and Garbodor is a threat. Also, Parallel City is a huge problem for this deck. 
Um, we are going to play four max elixirs, of course, to be able to accelerate energy. Three rare candies to go into your Venusaur. We are going to play a Raw to get our Pokemon energy back. Four Ultra Balls, search for our Pokemon. We are going to play one Bridget. Turn on Bridget's great in here to get a couple Bulbasaur's down, which usually you want to do because your opponent will try and take out the Bulbasaur's real quick. Three Cynthia's for draw, three Ends, three Sycamore's for draw, only two Guzma's. Um, we're not going to play a crazy amount of Guzma's in this list. We got one copy of Choice Band. A uh, great one up to play in this list is Choice Band, mainly because, well, you know, Choice Band can do the extra damage you need on Genesect and on Executor to take one shot. But again, very clunky deck, so it's kind of hard to fit in other cards. I would like a, like a, maybe a Wishful Baton, I guess. Um, three Float Stones, because we need the Fruit Tree, and I'm playing 11 Basic Grass Energies. Yes, this is my Venusaur Genesect list. Um, I've taken some of the Venusaur lists I've seen going around right now, and again, I've kind of tweaked it to my liking using Executor Energy Switches and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see you guys in a minute with some matches with our deck. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go find a couple matches with the Venusaur Genesect deck. Let's see what we can muster up with the deck today, and uh, we'll see if we can get a win or two. We'll see how the deck performs for us. Um, looks like we're up against a Buzzwool Garboder deck, potentially. Probably one of our worst matchups, considering Garboder shuts down Venusaur. We'll see what we start with. We are going to mulligan. Kind of revealing what the deck is a little bit. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, all right, here we go. We'll uh, remulligan. Okay, we start Feramosa, Execute, and Lele. Oh man, I really don't want to start with Execute. I might just have to start Feramosa here. As much as I don't want to, it's like the most logical starter. Because we're going to need Execute. I think Executor is pretty useful in this matchup, and... I don't know. We're probably gonna need Executor. Plus, if I do start with Execute, it's gonna get knocked out. And oh, he's playing Lycanroc. Lycanroc makes this matchup pretty bad because they have Bloodthirsty Eyes, which surprise, surprise, can knock out your Venusaur. Or bring it up at least to be knocked out. So, this matchup I think is kind of 50 50. It can go one or two ways. Um, unfortunately, he's playing the 70 HP ro uh, Rockruff, so we aren't gonna be able to fast rate it. So that's going to be a little bit of an annoyance. And he's building up that buzzwool. And... Oh, of course you have both. Of course you have both. Alright. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but again, this matchup goes two ways. Badly or well. So we're going to see a Cynthia, my opponent. Um, they got a really good start here. Strong Energy, Choice Band, Float Stone. I mean, jeez. I don't look if they play Octillery though, which might be a bit of a, a big bonus for us in a way. I don't like Fermosa being in the active, because I don't want it to get knocked out in two turns. Um, I don't want Fermosa to go down. We'll see if it happens. He gets rid of a Rod and Energy for Diancy. He has all these damage boosters. I mean, Fermosa just can get two shotted. Probably better than starting with the Cute though. Okay, we drew a Genesect. We're gonna have to give up most of our Ultra Balls here. I don't really like doing that, but whatever. That's three of our Ultra Balls. And we can grab a Bulbasaur um, for now. Just gonna check the energy. All right, we got one Grass Prized, it looks like. So we'll grab the Bulbasaur. We'll Lele. We'll have to go Sycamore here. We'll see if we're able to get a turn to uh, th uh, Venusaur. I would like to get a second Bulbasaur down this turn so I can prevent any... Um, What's, what's gonna call it? So I can prevent any um, knockouts with Lycanroc on my Bulbasaur. And we'll just fast raid him. Unfortunately, we're not doing a lot of damage. Maybe next turn we can confuse him. We'll see if that'll work. Um, I could have field blowed away the enter the float stone in case he does Guzma out of the, the lock. We'll see. He's got three cards in his hand. He's only got three cards, so anything is possible. Formosa should live the turn, though, unless he's playing multi-switch, something like that. There's two strong energies, another Cynthia. He is doing an insane amount of damage with Jet Punch right now. Please don't have Brooklyn Hill Choice Bands. That Field Blower would have been for nothing. He's doing 40, 70, 90, 100. He's doing 100 damage. Jeez. 
That is ins that that is ridiculous. 100 damage. That is ridiculous. All right. I think maybe this deck could use like another psychic Pokemon. I don't know. Maybe Mewtwo would be good in this deck. Mew wouldn't be bad either, I guess. Um, I don't know. Okay, we drew a float. We'll have to do this. I might have to Ultra Ball away. I could grab an Ivysaur this turn. I think I'll do that. We'll have to get rid of Genesect and Floatstone. We'll grab an Ivysaur and we'll we'll try and maybe build up two of my Venusaurs. So we'll evolve this one, and then this one can be rare candied into it. We will end him here. We have to hope to hit some max elixirs. I mean, I, you know, I asked. We hit him. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we can attack. No Venusaur kind of sucks. We can also hit with Lele next turn if we really want. So we'll max elixir once. We'll... I might even spread out the energy a little bit. I'm... Ugh. If I had an Executor down... Do I want to attach to my Execute, or do I want to just... Yeah, I'm definitely going to spread out the energy. I think it's the right call. Um, we'll do Field Blower. Um, I actually do want to get rid of that Floatstone. And again, if he does do a play where he does Guzma, he won't be able to, like, Float Retreat, I guess. I'm going to save this, uh, Max Elixir. And we're going to Cruel Spike him. So now he's confused. He can Retreat and probably still knock me out because I only have 70 HP remaining. But this way, this Buzzle can be KO'd for later on. Maybe I can get a knockout with Exeggutor. We have to kind of hope we top deck something good. Genesect's not doing enough damage. We have a Rangaroo, so if we can somehow draw that. Um, there's a Max Elixir. That's most likely going to hit. Yep. Rip. So he's going to be able to knock me out, I think. Six, oh, he, need, he needs a Stronger or Choice Bay to knock out my uh, Formosa with that Bench Buzzwool. So we'll see if he hits it or not. We can kind of see why I'm not playing all these max elixirs. I probably should have in hindsight, but I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I feel okay with just doing the one for now, because if we save it, you never know. Something. Oh shoot! He had choice, of course. He did. Ugh. So frustrating sometimes playing against Buzzwell, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it is one of the most. Fr he plays DC. Why? Oh my gosh! This is actually this is killing me. Inside. Okay, my opponent's luck right now is kind of insane. How many ends do we have left? Okay, we got two of them, so we probably want to end him at some point. Losing Formosa does... So oh, wow, he actually went to attack. And he misses now. Okay, well... I mean, I was gonna say, all we really need is a choice pan. And we can knock out this buzz with Formosa, and I don't mind that. Don't mind that. Again, I, I think I'm gonna save the Max Elixir. Like, I don't really want to play it right now. And we'll just cruel spike him for the knockout. So we actually managed to hang on a Buzzwool. He had he had the ability to retreat, but he probably didn't want to give it two strongs. There's a Beast String, there's a Guzma. Two things that don't really help me in this situation, unless I can draw the other Formosa. This is still gonna be tough to win. Just because we got the KO doesn't mean we're in the clear yet. Formosa will go down. Most likely. Unless he Guzmas. We'll see if he has a Beast String. He's played three with Cynthia. That should be all the Cynthia's. There is a baby Buzzwool, so I'm glad he's not going with baby Buzzwool this turn. Super Rod. Why do you play two Super Rod? This list is actually annoying because he's playing so many random stuff like two Rods and a DCE. Why? Why do I have to play against random lists that, that have random cards? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's already bad enough I'm playing against Buzzwool. So he's just going to Jet Punch me. Most likely going to hit the Genesect. Which, honestly, might have been a dumb idea, because he's going to knock me out anyways with Absorption. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about my opponent's weird play. So, will we draw anything? We don't really. Okay. So, will Brookwood Hill for nothing? Come on, we have all our supporters, man. Can I, can I please draw something? We don't have any Ultra Balls left, so I, that's going to really suck. Can I please draw something, though? Please, 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 please. We have a lot of outs here. Okay. We can swing with Genesect and then finish him off with Tapu Lele, but I think if he's smart enough, he's going to retreat into Buzzwool. I could attach to Venusaur. No, that, that makes no sense. 
I guess we have to swing with Genesect. energy on execute or just go here. Wait, I think we have a knockout, don't we? We have a knockout. The only problem with this is he's gonna get Lycanroc and because for some reason he's playing DC in his list, he's just gonna knock me out. Ugh. This is this is tragic. I do have a knockout. Do I only need to attach four energies? 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to do this. So we have a knockout, but if he has one energy, I'm dead. Alright, we're gonna get two prizes though, which hopefully is a supporter. We're gonna lose because we're not drawing anything. And we actually are able to make a decent, like, stance on it. So, unfortunately, we're mostly gonna get knocked out here by Lycanroc, because for some reason he's running a DCE in a Buzzhole deck, which is only slightly tri triggering at how absurd that is, but it's gonna work in my opponent's favor, which is the annoying thing. He's actually being a baby Buzz, okay. It won't knock me out. And then what I can do, I can actually just win on- If he doesn't win this turn, I win the game. Straw- Unless he has a float stone. Unless he has a float. Sycamore. It's dumping- Okay, a bunch of energy is getting me started, I guess. He's, he's gotta get a knockout this turn on my Genesect. There's no way this dude ain't gonna get the, the Lycanroc KO. Okay, he's- Beefing this up. There's Bloodthirsty Eyes. Hopefully he actually brings Venusaur out or something. Oh, yo, he's actually doing it. I win! Okay, beautiful. Alright, um... Okay, that was a little annoying of a game, I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of annoying because my opponent had some weird things like DCE. Why are you playing that in your deck? I will never know. But we were able to come out on top with a win. My opponent did some weird plays there. Bringing out the baby Buzzwool for one was a was a weird play on its own. Um, he he had like a, he had a few turns where he could knock me out technically, but he didn't take it. Um, so I don't know. That was my opponent didn't play that very smart. I'm not gonna complain. I will take a win against Buzzwool any day of the week. How many energy? Sixteen energies. Holy cow! That one DC is the most triggering thing on the planet because it's like the most useless card in a Buzzwool deck, but he plays one of them. And it almost got me too, which which really makes me sad. But we were able to come out on top with a pretty clutch win against a matchup. So we will find another match with our deck here. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go find another game with our deck. Yes, I did get those three packs. Um, unfortunately, though, I didn't really pull anything good out of them. So there's really no point of showing you guys what I got in the, in the polls. I did record it, but again, the polls were kind of just not good um so looks like we're up against a greninja deck here greninja glaceon most likely so we'll see what we get on the coin flip chikorita letting us down again Fermosa against these little frokies is kind of bad too um because they don't have a lot of hp or they have 70 hp i don't know why i said they have a lot so we got double genesect we got a bulbasaur no other supporters though in our hand so we might have a bit of a, a bit of a dead hand for now we can definitely build up a genesect here though so it might work out for us we can bench the bulbasaur and the genesect i guess we can like max like if it hits energy reload and then just stack up one genesect here i guess that's gonna be the plan so okay starts with a talon flame and a coco which is kind of puzzling as to what he's actually running now Playing two Tapu Cocos, okay. Is he playing like a fossil or something? He's gonna Guzma my Bulbasaur, that's annoying. That is very annoying because we're gonna be stuck in the active now. We drew Execute, that's not helping much. We can Max Elixir. 
and K does hit. I guess we're just gonna have to load up a Genesect here. We don't have much of a good hand. Execute, um, not helping much. Hopefully we can draw something. Hopefully he also doesn't do Flying Flip. I don't want my Genesects to go under 130 HP. And he is playing Greninja, and he's playing the 50 HP Froakie, so that's a good thing. There's a Cynthia. That's like 200% gonna get him. DC. I mean, if not, he'll go Town Flame, which means we're gonna have to desperately get an end here, and we're gonna get two shotted by Town Flame, which is even more annoying. So we really need to draw something here. Not that we're like under pressure right away. It's just if we don't get something going soon, my opponent's gonna completely steamroll me with like Greninja and stuff. So uh, not a good sign. Hopefully we can start drawing well. I really don't want to lose to a Brick. That would be great. Okay, can we draw an N? Oh, holy. Oh, I actually did. Okay. Um, cool. So we'll end him. That was a pretty clutch draw. Can we find a Floatstone to save our Bulbasaur? We don't. We do have Guzma. I think we just got to accept that we're going to lose Bulbasaur today. But that's fine. We'll grab a second Bulbasaur here. We do have Exeggutor. We got one Venusaur in the deck. That sucks. We do have our Energy Switch. We have three candies. Okay. So we'll grab our Bulbasaur. Uh, we are going to lose a Guzma there. We'll max Elixir. Probably just put the energy on the other Genesect. Which, nope, is not the case. I only had six, so I was like, man, we're probably not going to hit it. We're just going to pass. We're going to lose our Bulbasaur here. Next turn, though, we are going to be able to go into Genesect. And, um, we'll see. So he's going to put Brooklet Hill into play. He's going to get another Froakie down. Yep. So this is always the issue I have with these Venusaur decks. If you don't get the Venusaur in play, your deck kind of like crumbles a little bit. So, I don't know. It's just weird. There's way too many item cards that Venusaur has to work with too. I feel like once post-rotation happens, Venusaur is going to be a lot better, I feel like. Well, it's going to be a mix of better and like worse. Because you're going to lose max elixirs. But you still have a lot to work with. You still have all your Venusaurs, your Genesects, all your cool grass attackers like Fermosa. Or Ferrisoma, or Ferrimosa. I don't even... I think it's... I think it, is it Ferrimosa? It is, right? Ferrimosa. Yes, I am right. Okay. I can never pronounce that thing's name. Okay, so... We can bring out Genesect. He didn't get any frog ears down last turn, which is kind of cool. And, uh, let's see what we draw. Okay, another energy. We do have a rod. Um, we're gonna have to attach to knock him out. That's fine, though. I'm not really feeling threatened here. See what we get. We get one of our Fermosas. We have an Ultra Ball, which I think I'm gonna play to probably just grab a. Okay, we'll get rid of Field Blower and Fermosa. I don't want to get rid of any of my energies. We'll grab Ivysaur. Who knows? Bulbasaur could get knocked out next turn. I doubt it, but it could happen. You never know. Like, just gotta be safe. Gotta be on the safe side. And we will have to Gaia Blaster for the knockout. But that's fine. Next turn, we can start energy reloading. As long as Genesect doesn't go down, but I doubt it. Unless, for some reason, if you are playing Rare Candy in your deck, I quit. If he's playing Rare Candy, I'm going to cry. Because he's going to Rare Candy into Greninja, and I am not going to be happy if he does that. So, it looks like he's just opting for Flying Flip. Kind of does hurt me at the same time. Now Genesect can be KO'd by Greninja's first Greninja GX's first attack. Which is a little annoying. There's a Frogadier. He's probably going to hit Execute. He could not come Execute this turn. Nope, he's actually just going to target the active, which is fine. Um, can't really... We could draw Guzma here. Or we can Lele Guzma. I think I'm going to knock out Frogadier. Aquapatch. Right, hopefully he puts it all on one Frogadier. Yes! As long as we have our Guzmas, we're going to be able to retreat Genesect, go into Execute, and knock out Frogadier. I mean, Flying Flip, it's putting damage on the board, but it's really not a big deal. I guess best case scenario, we draw a Venusaur, or we draw an Exeggutor, so we can try and keep Execute alive. And we drew Choice Band. So we're going to have to give up an energy here to retreat. But we are going to be able to take down Frogo here. That's the good thing. I don't mind losing the energy. It's not a big deal. Um, it really isn't. And uh, we can energy reload. We can conserve the energy here. Because we're still going to do 110 to that Coco next turn. 
Um, do I want to play Choice Band? I don't think I do. I think I just... Well, Brooklyn Hill to thin out the deck. Or to thin out the deck to shuffle. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess we'll just Gaia Blaster, hit this Frogadier for weakness. And we will see what our prize is. We got a B-String. B-String could work next turn if he takes out Execute. I think Execute's going down next turn, but I'm fine with that. I mean, I want to use Executor at some point in this video, but it's looking like Executor is kind of just not going to be useful. Oh, shoot, that's going to bring out Ivysaur, isn't it? Oh, Lele. Questionable. I'm going to have to give up another Energy Retreat, but if I get Venusaur on play, I can swing with Energy Drive. I'll probably just stick the Knockout, though. I could Cynthia and find Float, though. I'll still attach, and maybe I can get, like, a Float Stone off of Cynthia, and then I can, like, still retreat. We're going to see Rescue Stretcher... Just get back the Frogadier. Okay, it looks like Execute will go down unless he chooses to target Genesect or Lele. But most likely just gonna knock him Execute. Sucks, you know. Executor is such a cool card to try and get into play. But when you only play a 1-1 one, one line. Oh no, he's still targeting Genesect. I, I, I mean, I guess he can knock it out in one big, like, thing. But still. I would just save it. Now you're probably like, why are you feel blowing that Broken Hill? It's, you know, I don't really mind him streamlining Frokies. It's not that big of a deal. Hopefully we can get Rod, though. We really need to get our energies back. And he's just going to fly and flip me. I'm fine with that. I don't know why he didn't bring out Ivysaur. That would have been the logical play, but I don't mind. Um, I... We're probably going to have to attach this. Um, I'm going to just burn a few cards from my hand. So I can try and hit Float so I don't have to lose this energy. And then I can energy reload Float Stone to Lele. And go on to Genesect. Okay, nice. We got him. Got it. Um, so yeah, we'll go into Genesect. Could go down next turn, though. That's the only issue. Um, but we will energy reload. We'll have another Genesect ready to go. No Exeggutors, though. So it doesn't look like we're getting much action with the Lolan Exeggutor this game. But we're going to knock out this Tapu Koko GX. Or GX. Tapu Koko. And will we get a Venusaur off the prize? We do not. Yet. I should have put a Rangru down, but I might need that for Formosa if he doesn't take a prize next turn. But if he does, I get B string. We'll see what happens. He's gonna. Looks like he's going for Frogadier here. Which means he has to Greninja. But again, we can knock him out. He's actually just gonna go with Shadow Stitching Greninja, which is fine. Shadow Stitching technically shuts down Venusaur, but it doesn't matter. We're doing so much damage with Gaia Blaster. It's not a big deal. I'm actually really hoping Execute stays alive. Like, I really want to use Executor this turn. Alright, there's a Field Blower. He has three cards in his hand. I don't know if he has a Supporter. Hopefully he doesn't. He can Shadow Stitching me, which won't knock me out. So, he kind of has to Moonlight Slash. Or he has to get a Frog here. Maybe Execute lives. Because he wants to Shadow Stitch me, which probably would be his smartest play. Because then I won't have Venusaur, which I don't know if it matters too much. Shoot, he had a Lily. That's annoying. That is annoying. But you can kind of also see why I don't like Wishful Baton. A lot of people freak out, like, why aren't you playing Wishful Baton? Well, you see, Wishful Baton, we would have lost it there. And it's like, bruh. He's actually going to Frogadier, but thankfully, he doesn't activate Gale Shark. Because that is pretty huge. Oh, he's going to put a Splash Energy on. That's a little annoying. Which means he doesn't have to just Shadow Stitch any damage. So, that's a little annoying. He's going to be able to retrieve the Greninja. We have 90 HP, though. We could get killed. All right. I'm feeling confident we'll hit Venusaur. So I'm actually going to attach the grass to Genesect. We need to find Super Rod, though. We have Energy Switch. We don't really get to play that. I'm feeling confident we're going to find Venusaur. Don't let me down, game. If not, we can always Energy Reload, but I really hope we find Venusaur. Or Super Rod, too. Okay, we got the Venusaur. I'm going to have to Ultra Ball here. And this will be the turn where I think I go Eastern. And hopefully we can get Exeggutor here. That would be awesome. Do I even have any grasses left? Oh my god, my last two grass energies. Jeez. Okay, we could have instructed for two, but I'm going to save it. We have a Ranguru and Venusaur down. We'll play this because we know there's nothing left. I could have saved it, though. I don't know, it's fine. I'm... No Exeggutor, sad face. I might just energy reload. Just Exeggutor probably get knocked down next turn.
Do I want to do energy reload or do I just say whatever I can keep? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say whatever. Splash energy sucks, but we're back in the game. We got another beast string, which is kind of useless. We really need to find that rod. We are down a lot of energy and we're down to our last Genesect. And I'm not feeling safe about Genesect's odds of surviving the turn. Um, oh man, if he hits like a frog deer, I really needed to end him here. We still have a few ends, but we have to send him next turn. This might be rough. And we still have Fermosa. He's still a beauty GX, don't forget, but... Cruel Spike doesn't one-shot Greninja. Unless we play Fighting Fury Belt. That could be a decent one of this deck is Fighting Fury Belt. So then your Fermosa can, like, Cruel Spike knock out these Greninjas. And it does help Genesect out quite a bit, too. Probably might be better than the Choice Band. <sighs> that is... Pain and Suffering at its finest. What? He's hitting the Venusaur? Okay, I thought he was gonna just hit Genesect so we can Moonlight Slash me. Well, I guess he's gonna Flying Flip. I mean, that still takes out Execute. So now I do wish I energy reloaded a little bit. Now, can I draw a Guzma? Guzma would be a good draw. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised he's doing this. We are gonna lose our Execute, which means no Alolan Executor this game. And Executor would be good to actually just knock out Froakie or Frogadier. So I'm actually a little sad we're losing our Executor. I kind of wanted to see some Executor action. All right, there's a Sycamore. He's gonna dump his whole hand. I have to watch out for Greninja Break. Greninja Break is really scary. We we need to find Super Rod though, like ASAP. I'm pretty sure it's in the deck. Like I'm 100% sure it's in the deck. I saw it. Unless like I'm losing brain memory cells. I don't know. All right, execute. I'm sorry, buddy, but mm, just what gonna happen. Sucks we couldn't find Executor quick enough. The Volan Executor is really good here. True rare candy. Alright, we could just burn this. I guess we can check the deck. Okay, we do have Rod. We need to end him. So, I'm gonna have to go all in here and instruct for one, hope to hit and enter Super Rod. Oh, that is that is a kick in the face if I've ever seen. <laughs> Give me Executor after I just lost my egg. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we got Rod, so we got it. We can get back two energies. Probably just an execute. I could have maybe saved up for. Well, not saved up, but like. Done this, but whatever. Uh, do I want to get back execute or do I just get back Genesect? We're gonna get back Genesect. I don't know, the wing condition could be take out a Froakie or Frogadier, but if we're not getting Genesect down this turn, or execute down this turn, there's no point. We are knocking him out with energy reload, right? With the Gaia Blasting. Yeah, we're doing just enough. We're doing enough. We're good. So we'll, we'll knock him out. We'll see what our last prize is. I hope it's not Venusaur. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's Venusaur. Not being able to end him to two is really bad also. But we can win the game with a Beauty GX. So we should be able to wrap this game up. Even if he gets a Greninja GX, we should still be good. Or Greninja Break, sorry. Um, he'd have to do Giant Water Shirk in front here. We'll see. I don't think Genesect survived in the turn. But again, we do have Beauty GX. If he takes out somehow both Fermosa and Genesect this turn, I lose. If he somehow also takes out Lele Genesect, I lose. But if not, we should be able to win this match. Just not being able to end him there was really sad. I really wanted to use my boy Executor. I might, I might just do a Venusaur Executor video down the road. Because I, I feel like this archetype still has some potential. Considering we know we know right now Executor isn't terrible. Thanks to the Executor Zoark deck that's performing okay. I mean, it's not the same deck, obviously, but there, you know, there's something that they want. You know, it's either Executor or Lorantis. I mean, Executor is just a cooler Pokemon. Like, look at him. Look at him. He's putting back Coco instead of one of his Frogadiers or Greninja lives. That's really weird. I mean, if you want to go fly and flip, be my guest, I'll win the game. I think worst case scenario is like end to one. I don't know. Even that's not gonna matter. He's gonna feel blower me. That's fine. Um, that's his, that should be his last one. We still have one float left in the deck. Shh. 
Should be good here to win the game. Choice Band is concerning if he has Guzma. He's played two though, so hopefully he doesn't have his last Guzma in his hand. Alright, Giant Wire Shuriken. Where is this going? Venusaur. Okay, I don't mind Venusaur getting knocked out. It's kind of... We don't need it anymore. Because, you know, we got Fermosa already charged up. Plus, we got some energies back, even if I did have to move an energy off of Fermosa. Alright, end of one. There it is. So, he is going to hit the end of one, but... Still his game. Man, nothing on his field can survive Beauty GX. So, we're good. Okay, there's Fro Frogadier. He didn't even get an energy there. Does he have one? If he doesn't have an energy, I win too with Gaia Blaster. He's t okay, so he knocks out Venusaur, but I there's no way he's going to beat me this turn anyway, so it's fine. Like, unless he like just passes and goes, you don't have the energy, do you? But uh, I just catch. Or I can just retreat Beauty anything. Like, Garanguru goes down. We're doing, what, 150? We're doing, yeah, we're doing one. We're doing 200 damage with Beauty, so nothing on his board can survive Fermosa. Unless he counter catches my Rangaroo, which I still do have my float. Still have one float left. It's not like it's really a big issue. But if he does, for some reason, play counter catcher and does hit it, and on a Rangaroo and I don't find float, yeah, we might start to be in trouble because he then still has giant water shirking. But we should be able to win this game. I, I don't see how my opponent gets out of this. He gets flash energy. He will knock me out, but we beauty GX him and win, and that's that's a wrap. I wish I got to use more Exeggutor. I'm probably going to wrap up the video here. Again, I need to pre-record a few videos, so I want to try and get them done. So this will probably be the last match. I am always down to revisit a Venusaur deck. I'm liking Venusaur Genesec quite a bit. I might do a Venusaur Exeggutor video, so keep an eye out for that. I'm kind of tempted to do that, because it seems like a fun archetype. And, uh, yeah, we get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I almost just clicked eye. Beauty GX for the game. 500 damage. My opponent came really close to winning there with one prize remaining. Some weird plays happened where my opponent didn't take prizes when he had the chance to. But at the end of the day, we were able to win. And I don't know. I'm liking this deck. I feel like I feel like Venusaur Genesect is still an alright archetype. I think its biggest hurdle is by far going to be Lycanroc GX decks because like Lycanroc and Guzma destroy this deck. Once Venusaur goes gets knocked out, you're in trouble. So Venusaur, I feel like it, it's tough. This deck can be tough to manage, but other than that, I think it's a fine deck. Um, I guess you could take out Energy Switch. I thought I'd use it more, but I really didn't. So you can probably move Energy Switch, maybe throw in another Energy, maybe throw in a third Venusaur. I don't know, throw in... Maybe you can take out the Energy Switch, remove a Rangaroo, run like a 1-1 one -one Artillery line... Um, maybe throw in more supporters. I don't know. Everything in this deck seems fine. Um, maybe throw in, like, a stretcher. I don't know. I enjoyed this deck quite a bit. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me in the road to 3,000 subscribers. If you're not already sub, make sure to help me hit 3K subs. And I'll see you guys in another PGDO video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace out.